Alright, hello YouTube, this is Bella Song 10 Coming to you with my uh, next video on soap shoeing. Uh, this one, this one again will not be on soap shoeing. Uh, this, this is two part one. Again, uh, the second part will be on soap shoeing. This, this first part will be on making something. Now, what I want to show you today is how to make a slanted rail or handrail-ish type thing like that. You can see the curve, the little slant. Now, the uh, tools you're gonna need for this job: uh, screw uh, screwdriver or screw gun or drill, uh, sharp carpenter's pencil. Now, the key with that: shave off till you have about a quarter of an inch of the lead showing, and a hammer. This is optional. If you're gonna use a hammer, uh, I recommend using hammer because there's gonna be certain parts such as right here or here where you're gonna want to put like I recommend getting five inch or four and a half inch nails drill a hole through the bottom so you can connect this here and I put one to the side I don't recommend doing one to the angle I recommend drilling a hole like a nice long hole putting a nail in there would just be better or screw if you have enough torque uh, drill alright you're gonna need two by four here I would recommend getting about two 16 foots of this at Home Depot and uh, maybe one 8 foot just for extra and two and a half inch screws or three inch whatever you prefer three inch oh it don't always go all the way in so I usually use three inch I mean two and a half inch so and you're also going to want a piece of uh, two by six um YouTube YouTube um and then we're gonna want uh, you can use your old rail, uh, like I showed you in previous videos, or you can just get a new eight foot long uh, piece of coping. Now, um, what you're gonna want to do is your two by fours. Cut one to two feet and one to three feet, or one and a half and two and a half. Um, however high you can jump. I would maybe do a little bit higher than you can jump so you can progress while using it. Alright, so you're going to want to cut uh, the 2x4, one at 2 feet, one at 3 feet. And then with the other wood, it, probably a cross brace might be a good idea. Make a little cross. And then a couple of maybe extra supports down here. Um, so you're going to want to do, for the legs, Want to take a two, uh, like just some scrap or two by four or something. Make some uh, angles. You always, you're gonna want to cut all the pieces to the angles when you're putting them on, just to make it better. Want to put a nail through the bottom and a nail on the side. Now, what I recommend is attaching these to this same side and sliding it on here and then attaching that. And if you're doing, if you're building it in the basement, I recommend putting this on outside, like how I build in the basement. I also recommend. When you're building it, start off with this, attach the two end braces, and then attach the top. You're also going to want to cut this on an angle, like that. Um, now you want the 2x6 to be 8 feet long, as well as the 2x4 on the top. 8 feet, 8 feet. And then, um, then any extra stuff, you can just put some braces. Now what you can do, which is what I'm going to do eventually, is in that space if you want to have a little extra support put a uh, frame it out with two by four uh, plywood like three quarter ply and put on the outside just to give some extra support you don't have to do that so you know, uh, and when you're putting these like cross braces on you want to cut it to the angle here as best as you can just to make sure that you get a nice thing and it's not gonna be bunching up or it's easier to connect same thing with down there I did a little cut angle and same thing up here. Now, I recommend putting the rail on. You can use the one I showed you how to make earlier, like I said, or just buy a new eight feet, eight foot piece of coping. Put onto a thing. I also recommend, again, if you're gonna buy a new one, I recommend doing that design too. Just cause when you're sliding your foot in, you, you can move a little bit and you won't hit the sides, which is the point of that. So you won't go hit the sides. All right, so what we're gonna want to do is uh, screw.
screw these together like I did screw these parts together and on the other ends too uh screw these in I recommend doing that I didn't have my drill charge then but if you can use a drill um I also if this probably won't be lo that long so put these little things here so it can sit up so also so you can have something to attach well the reason why I did that was because right under here I have a three inch screw I mean nail and this wouldn't be long enough to connect all in here it'll be going into the ground all the way down here so I just put this little extra piece here so it gives it some extra length of use of the nail all right so that is that is video that is video part one of uh, angled thing uh, ramp uh, rail part two will be how to grind it uh, subscribe